Oh, hello, and welcome to my well-known cooking channel. We're here today doing an unboxing video of some items I purchased from Kezi. Your passion, our nutrition. Let's open up with my uh, trusty stainless steel scissors. You might be able to read, it says it's the perishable nature, this, uh, this delivery. And, uh, if no one's available, just dump it down the side of my house, is a kind of what that black bit of text there kind of means. So uh, presumably if you weren't in, uh, you, would, you would get back to your house with a box of rotten items down the side of your house, which wouldn't be particularly useful. Scissors every well. Bits of tape. <clears throat> Have my invoice here. It's very, very wet. Or damp paper. So there's another box inside of this box, but as I'm a gentleman with a plate on my arm, I cannot physically lift that box out. So I guess we'll have to cut it out of the cardboard box with my stainless steel scissors. I'm sure you must be very busy today, viewer, to watch a man cut a box out of another box. Well, the good thing is this box is, a, is polystyrene, and the tabletop and most of the kitchen is of a dark colour, so we'll be finding little bits of polystyrene around the kitchen. Next kitchen, the entire day. Okay, there's some more sort of tape here. <coughs> I wonder if there's a way I can just peel the tape off rather than cut it. It might keep some of the polystyrene together a bit easier. Not quite as good as I intended that last clip. Right. Let's open her up. Oh, well, first of all, we have an uh, important notice about dry ice. Please note your delivery has been packed with sachets of dry ice. That'll be good for a snack later. Dry ice, or solid carbon dioxide, is very cold at approximately minus 60 centigrade. It is designed to turn from a, uh, designed to turn from a solid into a gas whilst in transit to you, and by doing this it will keep your products perfectly frozen. The bag should arrive empty, however sometimes it may be the case a small amount of dry ice is still in its solid form when, it, when your order arrives. This is not abnormal, and if this is the case, please follow the five simple guidelines for disposal. Do not allow solid dry ice to come into contact with your skin. Glad I'm wearing a uh, sleeveless t-shirt. Do not put dry ice into drinks. Always keep dry ice away from children. Always store dry ice in a well-ventilated area. Good thing all the windows are shut. Do not place dry ice in a working refrigerator or freezer once removed from the box. Perfectly okay to put it in a non-functional refrigerator or freezer though. 
Once the dry ice is no longer solid, the empty bag in which it came can be disposed of. Must read information. Your meats will arrive frozen in a fully insulated. Let's give it away, isn't it? So there's some meat in here. Your meats will arrive, uh, arrive frozen in a fully insulated and secure polystyrene cool box with a cardboard outer box. Place your meats into the freezer immediately after the box has been opened. I assume the few minutes it will take me to read this will be acceptable. Check all packaging for the meats is sealed before storing in your freezer. If any product seal are broken, do not consume and con well, I'm not going to consume it straight away anyway. I have to cook it first. You can't consume it frozen. Store your frozen meat products in your freezer at minus 18 centigrade or below. Any temperature below that's per minus a million centigrade meat would be perfectly sensible. We recommend fully defrosting your meats before cooking. Recommended to defrost your meat. That's not, you have to. Please allow the meats to defrost for up to 24 hours in your refrigerator at below 5 centigrade. Used by the best before date indicated on the pack. Excellent. Well, unsure as to which of either that or that is the thing I'm not allowed to touch with my bare skin, so I think this is just ice actually. Oh, my thumb's not falling off, so I'll assume that that's ice. Strong amount of ice to come in this delivery. Caution, dry ice, so that's the dry ice bag. Not allowed to touch my air. Admittedly, it's empty. And I assume you're supposed to use your scissors to uh, Not touching it with my bare skin. But if that one's buried under some of my meats, uh, I guess we should dig out some, start digging out this meat so we can figure out what what has a, what has arrived. Um, I don't know what this meat is. I think it's from China. A kangaroo fillet. And we've got uh, four of those. The Belgian blue beef portion steak. Red, that is poisoned, uh, as I was getting out. Uh, another. Oh, it's two of those in each pack. We've got four of those. Uh, pork. Bangers and mash sausages. I don't know if they've got potato with them, but they could. Pardon me, they could be interesting to uh, to try. Some ice. We'll be barbecuing that. Wake you beef burgers. Two. Uh, some high protein. Buffalo quarter pounders, four of those. Uh, some kangaroo sausages, a number of those. Extra lean turkey sausages. Quite fat sausages on those. Uh, some venison sausages, or bambi. I don't know. I like to describe those. There's some more Wagyu burgers. We have four of those in total. Uh, some venison burgers, or Bambi, as I like to call it. Four of those. Oh, it's just the final bag. I'm not allowed to touch with bare skin. And uh, finally, some horse portion steak. Four of those, and that one seems to have uh, a drowned it. Is it just two of these? 
one or two of each of these. I think it's I think it's two in total. But that is it. That is my meats. Mildly concerned as to what this meat is though. None of the uh, writing is in English. I'll try translate it and get back to you. Meats. So after studying the labels for more, I realised that I missed some of the uh, some of the writing at the end. It's rabbit meat. Rabbit meat. Oh bloody! It's so cold. <laughs>